We all have at least one pair at home. Those famous blue jeans that are sold everywhere as pants, jackets, skirts. And this year, the popular item that never seems to go out of fashion marked its 150th anniversary. With billions of jeans sold every year, about half the world's population is said to be wearing a denim item at any given moment. But that favorite piece of clothing has a dangerous and toxic past. All because of this, that indigo blue color used to dye the denim. Indigo is the dye stuff used for denim industry. The textile industry is known to be the second or third most polluting industries on the planet. And within it, dyeing, dyeing is the most polluting uh, process and denim uh, dyeing is specifically even more polluting than other uh, dyeing methodologies. The traditional process of dyeing requires extreme amounts of energy, chemicals, and of course, water. About five trillion liters each year. And the industry uses water for everything. So when you want to clean the fabric, you need to use water. You want to dye, use water. You want to post-process the fabric, use more water. So everything is solved using Water. Textile dyeing and finishing alone are responsible for 20% of global water pollution and 3% of the world's CO2 emissions. But this Israeli company is trying to change that. For over 150 years, the textile industry has heavily relied on traditional practices that have caused immense damage to the environment. The company, which is about five years old, has found a way to break the damaging cycle by using a completely new technology, promising a 60% reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and 90% reduction in land use. And we use ultrasonic energy to propel the chemistry inside the yarn. That means instead of using the traditional 20 washes or 5,000 liters of water per hour to dye the yarn, the company uses sound waves to make the color stick. This is where the magic happens. The clean threads are introduced to the machine, and once they reach this part, they are dipped in the special indigo dye produced here. Now this is the most important part of the process. This is where the ultrasonic waves reach and impact the threads themselves. They come out looking like this, colored, which of course turns in to this, which we all know. It can be lighter, darker, more intense, less intense, whatever the client wants. Now, this process alone reduces the amount of water used to dye textiles by about 85%. The technology is essentially ready. Now, the next step is to make it viable for mass production. So by the end of this year, 2023, we're going to install our first industrial machine in Italy. And by 2024, we'll start uh, selling to the wider markets. The company aims to work with both brands and manufacturers. Started uh, an agreement with Kering, which is the owner of Gucci, Balenciaga, Yves Saint Laurent. And the second direction is working with uh, manufacturers. According to the founder of the company, it's not just about working for a good cause. Sustainability is becoming a key factor when doing business globally. We got many requests from different players around the world that if they don't reduce water consumptions, reduce pollution, reduce gas consumptions, if they don't tackle the problems that destroy the earth, government will close their business. Saving water, pollution and energy, it's the business of the century. New sustainable technologies are becoming an essential part of the world's chains of production. But there's still a long way to go as we continue to buy more, own more and waste more.